morning, afternoon, freaks and geeks. This is Cass, and today I'm playing the hat. Um, how many of you thought I was going to give up on this? Raise your hand. I've just been playing a lot of Pokemon with my... God damn, pick it up! I couldn't even. Okay, you can fly us. God, that is just so freaking annoying. Okay, so running alerts him. The light alerts him. Alerts him. And I can use sound cues for when stuff is nearby. And my son is still loud. I can't help that. It's really pissing me off. I wish... I wish we had, like, separate areas. That would be really cool. So I kind of have to keep talking over him, because he's loud like his father. Oh, I thought he was done talking. Constantly talks, too. I have to find a freaking crowbar to be able to get to the TV in order to save, and that is just the most annoying thing I've ever I had to encounter in a video game ever. So if I don't find it within like the first 15 minutes, I'm just going to do it off screen, and my son is so annoyingly loud. And he has his earplugs in, and he's not understanding that he has to talk quietly when he does that because you'll, you're trying to out like speak the speakers that are in your ear walls oh there's whispering and I think I was able to get up to like full pages of uh, the yellow which is underneath my face cam currently, so you're going to have to just know that I'm collecting things from Jeff. How many are there? I have no idea. Is this my life about to die? What? <laughs> I did everything that he just comes right at me. I don't know if I'm going to play this game much longer. I can't save. The ghost is annoying. Wow. 
I'm already getting into an annoying stint of the game. I clicked! I would love to beat this game. That's the second time. It's registered me picking up the journal and not picking up the journal at the same time. It wouldn't let me pass. Still feels like I should be able to break that down. And also it stopped when I picked up the third uh, page, so why did it still come and get me? And what in the world is that if it's not the Hat Man? And that's just an annoying puzzle. It's it's like, oh, here's item, use it on that door that's right there. And it has nothing to do with anything else in the game. Besides maybe the crowbar taking down the uh, wooden uh, bars. I guess to beat the heaven, I just have to keep moving. I'm literally right now things to say. Hi, how are you guys? I have the fan on because it's so freaking hot. Uh -huh. I knew I heard something. Really? I still might try to do this just to find the save point, just so I can have a place where I can just start from. Having to collect everything again is annoying. When there's like, what, 15 plus pages to collect? Is that the thing I hear? one of those games where it was scary the first few times. Does he ever drop aggro? So he doesn't, I'll just be annoying. There he is.
What is that noise? It's ear piercing and irritating. What is it? What do I need these ma matches for? Okay. I'm going to go down here. You didn't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. Do you see me? Where are you? Oh my god, you didn't see me. Really? He's just there. supposed to be how you defeat him. I like not defeat, but get past him. He like eventually leaves, but he never does. I sat there waiting and waiting in like one of these rooms. He couldn't see me. I was like, eh, eh. No, no, no. Was I under here? No, I wasn't. I was behind here. But I was like behind her like, okay, is he gone? Is he gone yet? Is he gone yet? Is he gone yet? I waited here for several minutes. I don't know the exact number. I want to say 10. It was probably 2. But I come out and he's still standing there. He didn't even notice I was there. He was just standing there. And then he saw me. And then he walked through the wall to get me. Then there's another instance where he just... He walks through the floor to get me. And it's just, this is just frustrating. Huh? There is already. I'm sorry, this is no longer fun. It's not scary in the least anymore. Oh, come the fuck on. I mean, the main reason why I kept playing Final Fantasy, or mm -hmm. Five Nights at Freddy's 2, and the main reason why I'm still mad that I haven't completed it is because it has some good story to it. It actually is fun. And like I said our last video, or second to last, I'm not mad at the game. I'm mad at the fact that I can't get better. And I watched several YouTube videos, and yeah, 
It's just me. I can't get better at it. It's not the game mechanics, even though a couple things I would like to be different. But it's me. All me. I can't get better at it. And that bugs me. But with this, there's very little to get better at. Oh. And see, him following me and chasing me like that, it's not scary, it's just annoying. And then they have you go into rooms to find these papers that has no other exit. And it's just, it is another Slender Man clone. Not because it's pages, it's because you're just finding objects with a monster chasing you. Where the is it in this room? Yes, it is. And you can hear that through the walls. Partially it's annoying, just like now, and partially it's helpful, like a few other times. I'm like running at those uh, padded rooms, and I hear the whisper. And I'm like, oh, they're in the padded room somewhere. When games get... What the hell? Did I just... Yeah, I just turned myself around. Before, it seemed that my movement seemed sluggish, and I wasn't... I didn't edit anything. I didn't like changing settings. This would be so much better if the save system was different. I wouldn't mind, like, randomly placed, like, things on the wall. Like, I thought the Antichrist symbols was going to be the save spots. That would have been cool. That would have worked. Like, randomly placed along... Oh, wait, what the hell is up with that door? Okay, it's just a normal door. There. How the hell did you get in front of me? I don't know what these matches are for. Sheesh. Set the, set the place on fire. I really have no idea. Is that the spring up there? It's probably on the other side of the wall. Yep, there it is. And I'm just, I'm not having any fun with this game anymore. And what happens when you're not having any fun with the game? It kind of becomes like a chore. Like, I feel obligated to finish this. But not because it's fun or I want to find out what happens. All because of YouTube. And that's it. Fuck off! I'm not saying anything bad about YouTube. I'm saying this is what happens when you do games. I, I'm not for a living because I'm not making a living off of this. Which is an another thing. It's like, should I really continue this? Now, I feel... Well, there's the, uh, boarded up room. It's like I either find the boarded up room, or I find the crowbar. I might continue this if I can actually save. And I might just do all of that off camera, because you know. I mean, that's, it's like, you've seen, I think it was like all of the yellow pages. You've seen me fail a lot. And you, you know what to expect. 
So if I do find the crowbar and get to the door all at once, then I will continue recording this. But as it stands, I think I'm going to leave it here, like the whole series. Um, if you guys do leave tips, I will uh, read them and consider them. So I guess with that, I forgot which door I went down. It was this one. I don't give a fuck about you. Alright. So, I guess with that said, I guess I'm going to just end the episode here while I'm fleeing like a madman. What's in this room? I keep hearing that noise and I don't know what it means. I'll spend too much time looking. But anyway, I will end it here. So, wait, wait. Can I get to it? Where is that door? Was it on the other side? Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck. You. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Found it, found it, found it. Please, 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 please hurry. He's right behind me. Please, please. Oh. <sighs>